Wisconsin Eye's 2014 election coverage is brought to you by the Wisconsin Hospital Association. For over 90 years, a valued voice for Wisconsin hospitals, supporting high quality, high value care in communities like yours. Wisconsin Eye is at the Brown County Public Library in Green Bay interviewing 2014 candidates. We're interviewing State Representative Gary Byes. He's a Republican from Sister Bay and he's running for Secretary of State. Gary, welcome back to Wisconsin Eye. Thank you. Uh, just Happy a programming note. You. Wisconsin Eye appreciates the support of the Wisconsin Hospital Association, which represents more than 130 hospitals and health systems for making these candidate interviews possible. Well. Gary, you served in the assembly. You're finishing your 14th year. 14th year, seven, seven terms. terms. You had indicated it was time maybe to step out of the assembly, and the next thing I know, I'm going to run for secretary of state. Explain that decision, please, sir. Well, um, I had looked at this office uh, and how it has deteriorated for many years, and looking at the record, uh, usually the person that's running is somebody who comes out of nowhere doesn't have any name recognition and ends up uh, losing the election to a established Wisconsin name. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been on two pieces of legislation to uh, give the voters a choice to see if the job should be eliminated or not because in my opinion the we spend a lot of money which uh, in a four-year term about five million dollars and we're, we're at this point we're not getting anything for it. So I believe that uh, with uh, my background and uh, my political savvy and my ability to work with the leadership in, uh, in both houses and work with the governor's office, uh, I decided to run for the office to try to bring this thing to the head that we either consider giving it some responsibilities to make it worth the money that we're spending or to bring it to the voters and make a case to the voters to decide whether they want to keep this office or eliminate it. Those are two major policy decisions. Abolish the office or give it more meaningful responsibilities. Which do you think would be the right call there, Gary? Um, I, don't, I don't see the office being uh, enhanced any. Just the way, uh, you know, I think it started with Governor Lucy, Governor Thompson, Governor Doyle, and finally with Governor Walker. Uh, governors like to have these responsibilities into different uh, uh, offices that they get to appoint people to. So I don't see this coming back. So uh, I, frankly, I, I think this uh, office is either on the way out or we keep it like a figurehead as uh, the Brits do with the Queen of England, you know, because that's what it's come down to. And, uh, you know, it's to me, uh, in today's economy, $5 million could be well spent somewhere else. Well. You and I have witnessed um, responsibilities of the office being reassigned. What's left of the office of Secretary of State? What does what does Mr. Uh, La Follette do? Uh, I don't think there's much left there. The you know, constitutional responsibility is the keeper of the seal, and to uh, uh, be one of the three members of the uh, land board trust. Yes. Uh, there's Bureau of Land Commissioners. Some, there's some uh, demification of uh, certain information, but pretty much everything has been stripped out of the office. And uh, uh, so that's why I thought I could do a good job and I would have the ability uh, to get elected because uh, uh, I've been involved in a lot of uh, high profile legislation that uh, I initiated, plus the stuff on the budget and stu uh, issues that have come up. and. Uh, you know, got uh, got some good statewide coverage on a lot of issues, so that's why I believe that I would be best representative uh, of the uh, of the state to take that. Also, uh, I have the uh, accomplishments and the uh, resume to go along with it. Uh, I'm not, uh, you know, I was born and raised in Wisconsin, uh, been a Republican mo all, all my adult life. Uh, I, uh, I, I'm, I think I'm the only veteran running. I spent uh, five and a half years in the Navy, uh, rose to the rank as far as I could go as second class petty officer. 
Uh, I spent 30 years in law enforcement with my last 11 years as chief deputy, which I managed a $2 million department, uh, which also encompassed the jail. And there's a lot of issues on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you know, I have the leadership skills for that. And, uh, you know, my 14 years in the legislature, uh, to uh, win elections over and over again, representing 55,000 people. And uh, but frankly, I think I did a very good job. Um, it's a constitutional office. And so it's, think it's going to take a constitutional amendment to get rid of the office of Secretary of State. Right. Is, is that on the ballot in, uh, on November 4, or is it just a, is there any thing, is there any constitutional amendment to get rid of either the treasurer or the Secretary of State on the ballot November 4? It did not make it uh, through, the, uh, through the necessary uh, procedure. It has to pass two consecutive legislatures the same language as bill. Now the Secretary of, uh, of Treasurer uh, was up and the Secretary of State was up, but it was on the same bill. And then right in the end, they pulled the uh, Secretary of State off because there was some issue about whether it could go through like that. In the end, neither one went through. So they would have to start over if they made a decision, the legislature, to uh, give the citizens opportunity to speak their voice, uh, to bring it through this time and then, and, and then the next session in the, in the same manner to make that decision to give it to the citizens. Now one of the things I would do if I was in the position of being Secretary of State uh, at whatever prerogative the uh, legislature decided, I would uh, go around the state and have some listening sessions to see what the people thought about it mm -hmm. to sort of give the legislature some idea of what's already being thought of. So maybe uh, if they confirm their uh, the way they want to go about it or if they want to change directions after hearing from the people. So. I, I would make that uh, venture uh, to try to make sure the legislature and the governor knew what the uh, citizens were uh, thinking about after are, a proposal. Are you telling voters vote for me because I want to get rid of the office of Secretary of State? I'm telling voters to, uh, that I'm there to facilitate whichever way the legislature wants to go. Because uh, I uh, and I believe uh, it, it's going to be to eliminate the office and I think uh, ag again we could use the um, use the money uh, elsewhere and do a lot more good than what it's doing right now. If they went the other way and said, okay, uh, we know you, Gary, we want to work with you, we want to give some additional responsibilities or maybe add back some responsibilities to the office, which of those responsibilities, which you and I have seen stripped of the office, should come back, sir? Um, I think financial institutions should be brought back in. The, uh, the, the trademark and the corporation uh, uh, certifications, uh, Notary Public. Uh, um, I don't, I, I would not see the GAB coming into that. I, I think that's just, uh, uh, the, that issue has too, too many political things and with the governor appointing the judges to the board uh, of GAB, I think that uh, that's a good way uh, to handle at this point. Um, are you going to be able to raise any campaign money to, to, to run for office or is that, uh, there's a lot with the governor's race, with races for Congress, with races for all seats in the assembly. Anybody want to give money to your campaign to eliminate the Secretary of State's office? I've had a few but it's, uh, it's nothing like the success I had in uh, running for state assembly. Things are pretty skimpy out there. Again, you're running for an office that uh, frankly I don't think a lot of people care about or can even tell you who the current secretary is, which also tells you another thing about how important it is. But uh, we're making an attempt and uh, I, I had a little funds left over in my, from my assembly that I was able to transfer over, uh, which is uh, you know, correct to be able to do that. Yeah, so we're working with what we got and just trying, trying to get it out. Uh, what I want people to do is put us side by side uh, all three, uh, you know, the Democratic uh, current office holder, um, my opponent in the in the primary, and just compare, just like you would, uh, I would compare it to shopping and looking at the ingredients on a can. What what do you think is going to best represent and do be able to do the best job? 
uh, you know, frankly, I think experience and, uh, uh, and uh, past successes. I'm also a small business owner. I took over a bankrupt business that I bought on a sheriff's sale, mm -hmm. and I turned it into a successful uh, uh, restaurant up in Northern Door County. So I, I've got the skills. Uh, I also know what it is to sign the front of a check, not just the back of the check. I think that, you know, that that goes back to, uh, you know, my my cost effectiveness of looking at how money is spent and what it's used for. Uh, you know, I, I I'm the oldest of 11 kids. Uh, you know, we grew up pretty poor and uh, you know worked all my life. Most of my life, I worked at least two jobs, sometimes three, especially my law enforcement years when I was raising my family of four children. Uh, you know, it takes. Uh, it takes a lot of work to keep things going, to keep them in the, uh, in you know, in a modest lifestyle. So, uh, you know, I have all this stuff in my background, which uh, I think will enable me to make good, good decisions, and to look at the best way of, of handling whatever comes up, uh, and uh, and also knowing how state government works, know who to tap into, for how to get things done. Uh, and I think I proved that in that. Uh, in my officer-involved death bill, which I was standing alone pretty much, especially in my caucus, but eventually I was able to exceed and get a lot of support on that. Uh, you know, we reached out to the, to you know, to the African American community in Milwaukee, to the people in Madison that had the number of issues there, and to uh, Mr. Bell who started the issue. Uh, and uh, I was able to work, and it took us a year and a half to just work real hard to bring that through, and eventually got the law passed. So. Do you, um, do you think voters still have an understanding that we have a Secretary of State? Or do you, do you, when you campaign, do you have to explain that the office is still there and you'd like to do away with it? Most people recognize the office, but they couldn't tell you anything about it or who's in, the, and who's in office. I've found very few people in, in my conversations as I travel around the state and in, uh, and in conversations, even in, uh, even in political circles. Uh, they, people are like, yeah, who is it? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so. If you were elected, um, the Constitution says we have to have a Secretary of State, but it doesn't say the Secretary of State has to have a staff. Would you, since the office doesn't have any major functions, would you lay off then the three or four employees who now work for that office? Again, I. To save money? Well, I run a business. Uh, uh, and I ran a, uh, in a, in the government, I ran a sheriff's department. Uh, I would look at what the workload is and if it's justified to keep the people there. Uh, so uh, I would have to assess that. And yeah, if you don't need them, uh, you know, we're, you know, it's not just, uh, you know, I'm sure with the way the state uh, employment works that, the, you know, if, they, if I found it unnecessary, uh, those people probably have enough tenure to move into some other opening uh, within the state government. So I don't think it necessarily would be a layoff that they could fill a vacancy somewhere else. Okay. Um, how do you differ from, there's a primary, how do you differ from your challenger, uh, Mr. Bradley of, of La Crosse? Well, I met him. I, I think he's a very nice young man. Uh, I think he uh, needs a few more trips around the block. Mm -hmm. You know, that... Uh, he, he wants to keep the office. Yes. Uh, and, and, and that's his prerogative to take a view of that. I, I don't think it agrees uh, with what I know of the legislature and the governor's office, but you know that's his prerogative. The office really doesn't have any authority to do to do a lot uh, as far as in that. All you can do is work with the legislature, mm -hmm. and that's where I think uh, I have the advantage by coming out of the legislature and and uh, the respect I believe I have with my colleagues uh, that I can come in and do those. Uh, do the job because of the process to change the change the constitution. You're looking at three or four years to abolish the office, aren't you? So you'd be a you'd be a one-term Secretary of State, correct? I would probably be the last. You would probably be the last. Yeah, and that'd be a good thing. I, I think it'd be a good thing for the state of Wisconsin. Okay, and if the job wasn't abolished, do you, can you see yourself seeking re-election to a second term? in a position that you says basically doesn't do much except well, maintain the state seal? One thing I've learned over life uh, that uh, it's hard to predict what's going to happen down the road. Right now I would say I would be there for one term to try to get this accomplished and then let somebody else pick up the task if it's, uh, if it's necessary. Your career has been in Door County. Would you move to Madison if, if elected? 
I would uh, I would take a look at whatever I had to do to be down there. I don't know if I'd buy a place or probably rent something. All right, see, okay, understand. Well, State Representative Gary Byes is a Republican from Sister Bay. He's running for Secretary of State. The primary is August 12th. Gary, thanks for talking to Wisconsin Eye. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it, thank you. Thank you.